Hello everyone, uh, today's tutorial is going to be on this bracelet here. Um, I did a little bit of searching on the internet and through some of the paracord galleries and found that there's one very similar to this. Um, not the side that you're looking at, but on the other side if you flip it around, there's one that's called the crossing tongue and it's very similar to this braid. Um, there was only a photo of it, there was not a tutorial on it, so um, and when I created it, this is actually what, uh, this was actually going to be the, the outside of the bracelet, not this side. But uh, if you put a flat buckle on it, um, you can see that it's a, it's, it's actually a pretty cool pattern on the, on the, on the underside as well on the top. So you can wear it either way. Just put a flat buckle on it and it's pretty cool. So what you see here is two different styles. It's the same weave but you can see that there's one color you know there's 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 two colors but one is along one side the other one's on the other side and then there's one where you can actually make it this this color pattern so I'm gonna show you the setup on both of them and yeah, it's pretty easy and this one right here has four inner strands you can see and this one here has two inner strands so whichever you prefer, you're obviously going to save cord on your two inner strand version of it. Alright, so let's get started. Okay, we're ready to begin. Now, um, just a couple things I want to show you all before I start weaving. Um, I set up this bracelet that I'm going to weave. Uh, I set it up to where the pattern is going to come out like this where you have one color on this side one color on the other side so it's uh, that's what this particular setup is going to be in order for you to achieve this setup right here um, all you need to, the only difference is um, you won't be fusing any of the any of the colors together so because this one involves fusing your cord together and so if you want it, the colors kind of alternating like this, um, then you would just leave the, you would leave them solid. So you'd have one solid going through your bracelet and then the other one would be the other color. That's the only difference. All right, so let's get started. I'm going to start off by doing just a regular Solomon knot because we've got to run our other cord through the middle there's your Solomon and I want you guys just to notice notice that this side now you have your mint color coming out on this side and you have I've got my Kelly green coming on this side and what you want to do in order to create this effect right here is you want to make sure that both colors are on the same side so I've got my Kelly greens on this side and my mints on this side mint color all right let me pull this tight just like that all right now we're ready to go okay so here we are all right so we've got we got everything ready to go so let's start with we're going to start with a, a top right cord and we're going to go through the middle pull that through like that and on the left side you've got your two kelly greens you're going to you're going to use uh, just remember on this brace that you're going to do a crisscross uh, the top is going to go on the bottom of the opposite and you're going to be doing that the entire way down so top right goes through the middle then it goes over the bottom and back through the middle just like that give you a second to take a look at that and let me zoom in for a little bit see
okay and what you're going to do is you're going to pull you're actually going to pull this side and then you just pull tight like that and each time you want to make sure oops sorry each time you, you want to make sure that you push up okay so now we're going to use we're going to use the top left and we're going to go down through the middle just like that and then you're going to go over the bottom and back through the middle again just like that okay and then all we're going to do is we're going to pull tight, push this side up a little bit, and pull tight. Push up. And pull tight again, push up. This one does require a little bit of patience, so just take it slow on each pass, because as you start going further down, uh, you're going to have to uh, pull on one end, and you're going to have to be holding the cords and adjusting, just so that it, uh, it starts to look... Um, starts to look like this pattern right here okay so now we're going to take our top right we're going to go through the middle over under and through again just like that and what I want you guys to notice is see how this this as we came over and through you see this loop that's right here if you pull it just where it is sometimes it has a tendency to stay on the bottom of this side let me zoom in so I can show you what I mean so what you want to do every time you pull every do every time you do a pass and you pull you want to make sure that it, it comes above this bottom cord on the other side let me show you what I mean here so let's push up like that and now let's go over through the middle and then we're gonna go over and back through the middle this guy out of the way okay so here we are and what's gonna happen is once I pull see how it's starting to catch this loop right here what you want to do is you want to avoid that you want to just push up on that and pull make sure you're holding this cord and you want to pull everything you want to hold everything out together like that push up this is kind of what you want you want the cord that went over the top and, and it's passing across like that. You want it to come kind of straight down and you want to be able to see this loop that you went over on the side. A couple more times. Over. I'm sorry, through, over, and back through. Like that. And remember when you're pulling, see how it's having, it wants to just hook itself to that cord. What you need to do is you need to push it up and pull again. It takes a little bit of time to get it, but once you get it, uh, the results are going to be really cool. This is what you get. Okay, let me do it one more time. Top left, over the middle that over the bottom and under and through again just like that and sometimes it even helps to pull this side push over and pull this way and then pull like that either way either way works but you can see the pattern there starting to form this pattern right here 
Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I'm just going to run this top cord down through the middle. And I'm going to do the same with this one here. I'm going to go down through the middle. So let me pause that and then I'll show you what I did. Okay, here we are. All I did was I ran the, the cords down through the middle like that. You can see that right there. And now they're coming out of the bottom. I don't like any of my cords to be coming out of the top. I always like to have everything coming out of the bottom. So let's just cut all these together. And now, just get your torch lighter or Bic lighter, whatever you got. And just kind of tap it flat. Alright, well there you go. There's the bracelet all finished up. Uh, the different variations that you can come up with. Um, still don't have a name for this bracelet. The underside, like I said, looks like the one called the crossing tongue, uh, but there was no tutorial for it, so uh, just a photo. So um, I need some name ideas. If you guys want to help me come up with a name for this bracelet, just uh, you can put your suggestions or comments uh, below and see about giving this, this bracelet a name. Uh, make sure you check out my page. It's uh, facebook.com forward slash paracord creative designs. Also my Give my page a like, and then also my website, paracordcreative.com, is almost complete. I've got a full gallery there for, for you guys to, to check out. And um, make sure you subscribe to this channel if this is your first time watching. I will be doing a subscriber giveaway soon. So thanks, thank you very much for watching, and uh, next video... Uh, next tutorial will probably be on this bracelet right here uh, since Valentine's Day is is coming pretty soon uh, this one right here is just a variation of the cross hitch bracelet um, that was like my second or third upload so um, I just thought it'd be cool and kind of appropriate just because it's you know it's Valentine's Day and it's maybe something you could offer as gifts to people or you know if you're you want to sell so anyway, thank you all very much for watching and we'll see you in the next video.